السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back grade 9 students Our lesson today is module 6C Students book pages 67 and 120 Workbook page 65 3 grammar 4 listen These are the learning objectives which we are going to achieve for today by the end of this lesson, you will be able to express present, past, and future ability using be able to and respond to four multiple choice questions correctly through listening. Let's get started. Could you please open your student's book, page 67? Be able to. Read the examples below and answer the questions. Now let's read these examples together. Number one, no one is able to live on Mars. Two, people aren't able to predict the future. Three, are you all able to see what I've written on the board? Four, it was a successful trip. Scientists were able to collect rocks from the bottom of the ocean. Five, astronauts weren't able to travel to the moon a century ago. Number six, were they able to rescue the cat from the tree? 7. We will be able to go to the moon for a holiday very soon. 8. I won't be able to help you with your homework. And 9. Will you be able to fix the bike? After having read the sentences above, now it's time to answer the questions. Let's start with the first question. A. Which sentences express ability or inability in the present? So here we are talking about ability or inability in the present. What do you think the first sentence is? Great. No one is able to live on Mars. Here we use is. Is able to. To express ability in the present. What about the second one? Very good. People aren't able to predict the future. Here we use aren't able to. To express inability in the present. And the third sentence is, are you all able to see what I've written on the board here in the question form? So we can use am, is, or are plus able to to express ability or inability in the present. Well done, students. Now let's move on to the second question. Which sentences express ability or inability in the past? So here we are talking about the past. What do you think the first sentence is? Great. It was a successful trip. Scientists were able to collect rocks from the bottom of the ocean. So here we use were able to, to express ability in the past. And the second sentence is? Very good. Astronauts weren't able to travel to the moon a century ago. So here we use weren't able to, to express inability in the past. And the third one is? Were they able to rescue the cat from the tree? This is in the question form, changing the order. So we use was or were plus able to to express ability or inability in the past. Now let's go to number C. Which sentences express ability or inability in the future? So here we are talking about the future. What do you think the first sentence is? Very good. It's number seven. We will be able to go to the moon for a holiday very soon. Here we are talking about future. So you will be able to plus infinitive. Now number eight. I won't be able to help you with your homework. So here we use I want to express inability in the future. I won't be able to help you with your homework. Now what is the last sentence? Very good. Will you be able to fix the bike? Here in the question form, we change the order. Will you be able to ask about ability in the future? So we use will be able to or won't be able to to express ability or inability in the future. Now let's see question number D. Which phrase can we use to replace with can? What do you think the correct answer is? Wonderful. It is able to. Of course, is or are or am. Able to can be replaced with the verb can to express ability. Well done. 
Now question number E. Which phrase can we replace with couldn't? Very good. It's weren't able to. So we can replace couldn't by using weren't able to or and of course wasn't able to. Now number F. Which phrase can we replace with can't? What do you think? Wonderful. Aren't able to. So aren't able to can be used to replace can't. Of course, you can also use isn't able to or I'm not able to to replace can't. Now let's read this note together. Be able to. We usually use can to express ability in the present. For example, the baby can speak. Here we are expressing ability. The baby has the ability to speak. Number two, we usually use could to express ability in the past. For example, I could climb trees when I was young. Here we are talking about the past because we have the phrase when I was young. So in this case, we use could to express ability in the past. The third note, be able to expresses ability and forms all the tenses. It is mainly used in tenses where we can't use can. For example, Jack will be able to play football on Saturday. He is feeling better. So, be able to can be used to express ability instead of using can. Let's go to student's book, page 67, and read this important note. It talks about the difference between the use of could or was were able to to express ability. Could expresses general ability in the past. So here we are talking about general ability. Whereas was or were able to expresses ability in a particular situation in the past. When we use was or were, we are talking about a particular situation. Let's have a look at these examples. I could swim at the age of five. Here we are talking about general ability. So we use could. Now let's have a look at this example. The rescue team was able to save the boy who fell into the river. Here we use was able to. Why? Because we are talking about a particular situation. The situation of saving a boy who fell into the river. In this case, we use was able to. Now let's have a look at the examples in student's book, page 120. I could draw well at the age of five. We can also say I was able to draw well at the age of five. But what about these, this example? Let's have a look at it. The firefighters were able to put out the fire after two hours. Here we use were able to. Why? Because we are talking about a particular situation. The situation of putting out the fire after two hours. In this case, we use were able to. We can't use could in this situation. Now, could you please open your student's book, page 64, and let's do this task. B. Rewrite the sentences using the correct form of be able to. So, here we have four sentences. We are going to rewrite them using be able to. Could you please pause the video and do the task? Go ahead. Okay, now let's do number one. What do you think the correct answer is? Excellent. Two years ago, Ahmed wasn't able to speak a word of Spanish. So here we use wasn't able to instead of couldn't. Good. Now, what about number two? What do you think the correct answer is? Great. In a few years time, the team will be able to take part in the championship. So here we use will be able to instead of using will have the ability to. Well done, students. Now, what about number three? What do you think the correct answer is? Excellent. I'm very upset and I'm not able to talk to you right now. So here we use I'm not able to instead of I can't. Well done, students. Now, what about number four? Wonderful. While Hamad was in London, he was able to do a business course. So here we use he was able to instead of he had the ability. Well done, students. Now workbook, page 65, and let's do exercise B. Hugh is moving to Qatar to start a new job. How will his life change? 
write sentences using will be able to and the prompts given. So here you are going to write sentences using these prompts with will be able to, to talk about how Hugh's life will change in the future. Could you please pause the video and do the task? Go ahead. Now, could you please check your answers? Again, workbook page 65, rewrite the sentences using the correct form of be able to. Here we have some sentences. You are going to rewrite them using the correct form of be able to. Please pause the video and do the task. Now, could you please check your answers? Let's go back to student's book, page 67, and do this task, the listening one. First, let's have this pre-listening activity. Which planet does this picture show? What do you think? Which planet is it? Excellent. It's Mars. Now, what do you know about this planet? What do you know about Mars? What do you think? Very good. It is called the red planet, the fourth planet from the sun. Mars is dusty, cold, desert world with a very thin atmosphere. Okay, now let's go to the while listening activity and answer these questions. Listen, listen to a radio interview with an expert on Mars and answer the questions. Choose A, B or C. So what I want you to do now is to pause the video and read the questions. Go ahead. Okay, now let's listen to the interview. Listen and try to answer the questions. 6C. Listen. Listen to a radio interview with an expert on Mars and answer the questions. Choose A, B or C. Good afternoon. It's been over 40 years since Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. Since then, People have wanted to know where next. Well, Mars is top of the list, and here to talk about Martian exploration is Robert Brody from the University of Reading. Welcome, Professor Brody. Hello there. So, when did it all begin? Well, actually, it all started hundreds of years ago with the invention of the telescope. Since then, we have been able to see what Mars is like and have a better idea of what we might find there. When was the first spacecraft sent to Mars? Well, space scientists tried to send a few unmanned spacecraft in the early 1970s, but without success. The probe Viking 1 lander left Earth on the 20th of August 1975, and 11 months later, on the 20th of July 1976, it landed on Mars. It was a successful mission, and it sent back information about Mars, including the first photographs from the planet. Did it return home? No, it's still there. But it sent information to Earth for 2,245 sols. Sols? I'm sorry. A sol is what we call a day on Mars. It's a little longer than an Earth day. And there are 668 sols, or Martian days if you like, in a Martian year. That's twice as long as an Earth year. I see. Interesting information. So, tell us, Professor, what is happening at present? Well, as we speak, there is a probe on Mars. Scientists at NASA are able to move it around and gather rocks and soil and analyse them. Basically, they are looking to see if there was any life on Mars in the past. Is there any life there now? I very much doubt it. Mars is a dry, cold place with very little atmosphere. Not the sort of place where life usually exists. But we could change all that with terraforming. What's that? Terraforming is taking a planet, like Mars, and changing the atmosphere, the temperature and so on, so that it will be possible to live there. Is that really possible? I mean, can scientists change a planet's atmosphere? We're doing it already with global warming. <laughs> In theory, it could be possible. And many scientists are working on solutions to create an atmosphere on Mars similar to the atmosphere on Earth. But it is an enormous task that would take a long time. Still, it gives you something to think about. 
Okay, now let's answer the first question. When did the first probe land on Mars? What do you think? Great, it's C, in 1976. And this is the sentence which refers to that. Now, what about number two? Where is the Viking 1 lander now? What do you think? Where is it now? Excellent, it's still on Mars. And this is the sentence which refers to this answer. Now, what about number three? What is a soul? What do you think? Very good. It's a Martian day. And this is the sentence in the interview which refers to the answer. Now, number four. What is terraforming? What do you think? Excellent. It's turning a planet into a place where humans can live. And this is the sentence which refers to this answer. Well done, students. And now let's move on to the post listening activity and let's answer this question. Do you think there will be life on Mars one day? What do you think? Pause the video and think of answers for this question. Go ahead. Okay, now let's have these two suggested answers. Yes, because scientists are working on terraforming or changing its atmosphere or no, because it's a cold, dry place with no atmosphere. Let's wrap up what we have studied today. Now what I want you to do is to answer these questions. What languages can you speak? What sports are you able to do? What could you do when you were 10 years old? And what will you be able to do when you become 25 years old? Pause the video and answer the questions, please. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you later.